It's been almost a week since history was made. America electing the very first businessman with no political experience to run our country. We've seen our stock markets here and around the world react, and our state and local leaders trying to predict how President-elect Donald Trump's policies will impact our economy. Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryant, has been paying very close attention to all of it. He's one of Omaha's premier financial advisors and the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies. He also hosts the Retirement Strategies radio show on 1110 KFAB here in Omaha. Tune in Saturday mornings at 8 o'clock for that. Daryl, welcome back. It's good Thank to see you. you. Great to be here. So last week you were sort of Nostradamus. We were asking you to kind of predict <laughs> here and there and add context to things. Um, before the results were official on Tuesday night, I was watching. Which, by the way, my son Daniel predicted within, um, I think, five points, oh, by the way. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So, anyway. Can I like, get like a lottery ticket yeah, hookup? Maybe you know, you know what's going on, yeah. Uh, I, I was watching the news that night, and the futures were alarming uh, mm -hmm. before the results were even official. Mm -hmm. So give us a little bit of, like from your professional sure. experience, what was happening on Tuesday night, and then how things sort of evened out and they weren't quite as drastic as what we were seeing. Right. Well, like. markets don't like uncertainty, right? And anytime you have a situation where uh, we don't know what's going to happen, whether it's a new administration, et cetera, any kind of uncertainty causes a, what I might call a rumble bar, you know, the, mm -hmm. the market's going to at least gyrate a little bit. The reason that the market was moving, uh, would have likely moved forward had Hillary been elected is because we would know that it would be just more of the same old thing, more basically the Obama administration, uh, their policies continue. There was right? predictability. There's predictability in right. that. Then uh, the uncertainty of Donald Trump coming in, uh, what a lot of people said was that, yeah, we could have, and I believe that there could be some rumble bars. I believe that they would be short-lived, not as short-lived as they actually were. They didn't even last through the night. Futures were falling during the election. Anybody who was watching the election results knows that. The futures were falling through the floor. Mm -hmm. However, then we turn right around and now we're at a Dow all-time high just several days after the election. Now, why would that be? Listen, and the whole fact of uh, Donald Trump being a businessman and the first businessman, I would love for viewers to view our gigantic economy, okay, as one big business, right? And Donald Trump is a businessman, and he is going to make, I believe, that he's going to make some changes that will be very, very good for business. The reason that the market would be moving forward at this point is because we believe that uh, when he reduces taxes on small business people, mm -hmm. listen, if I'm running a small business, and this is replicated, Mary, all across the nation, I'm running a small business, I know that my taxes are going to go down. Well, that means I'm going to free up some dollars, right? Well, if a, a, any smart businessman knows that you never stay in one, you're either shrinking or growing. So yeah, the you never stay the same. That's right. exactly right. So we're trying to grow, grow any small, you know, I, I have a small business of my own. Since I know that my revenue is going to free up some dollars with tax rates on a corporate level coming down, what that means is I'm thinking about hiring more people. Right. I'm thinking about expanding. I might, uh, I might move from one office to another, et cetera. Yeah. That's going to spur the economy on. I'm just one tiny little component component of a gigantic economy and then to m make it so that we're not going to be losing jobs and if you want to move your your business out of the country we're going to chart you want you're going to lose this mm -hmm. whole market you try to move out of here well and he's talking about four percent growth I mean lofty goals but, yep but the the reality is and I know you're saying this you know I hear people talking about it mm -hmm. there's there is so much uncertainty and the thought mm -hmm. about working your entire life to set up a you know, a, a retirement, retirement that you plan, feel like sure. is sufficient. Right. And now all of this change is happening. And you mm -hmm. wonder, like in the long term, it's really hard to predict what may come. But it in is. the short term, yep. what are you hearing about people's concerns? And then what would you say to our viewers who share those? Well, my suggestion, uh, I'm thinking of one um, uh, client that called uh, the day. In fact, it was last Monday. You know, I, I'm really thinking about moving to, you know, a different position, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Uh, moving to cash. Well, uh, my suggestion was don't do that. You know, just stay put. Um, if, if we do have, if, if Hillary's elected, we're probably going to see a movement forward. If, if Trump is elected, we're probably, it's going to be probably short lived. And I like his policies in terms of uh, increasing profitability by lowering taxes. However, to the retiree, mm -hmm. all that is just a bunch of noise, yeah, isn't it? Okay, right? all of that is just this. And so what we have to do is think in terms of our own personal economy. And are we structured in such a way with our finances so we're not just one big, big portfolio that's just riding on this wave that may go north and mm -hmm. it may go south and it goes south and you're in a, you know, that's not a fun way to live. 
So the most important thing you can do is segregate your dollars so that the dollars that you need on the shorter term would never be subject to that sort of volatility and this ebb and flow all the time, right? And then more important than anything we're going to go into next week, Mary, is put WealthGuard mm -hmm. on your, you, you must have a monitoring system. Imagine if you had your 401k, your IRAs, everything in a situation where if you had a steep decline, and I know you're not watching it every day, right? Right. No, I have Maybe not every quarter. Sure, you got a couple, <laughs> yeah, you got to go to the grocery <laughs> store for, and everything else and go to work. So um, wouldn't it be nice if you had 24-hour monitoring of uh -huh. your account so that no matter what happens, Right. If you had a steep decline, five percent, six percent, seven, ten percent, you'd know it. You'd know it right now. You'd have an alert sent to your phone. I would have an alert sent to my phone. Yeah. It would it would uh, cause an immediate that. discussion. Twenty four hour monitoring. Listen, call the office if you'd like get information on this. And I w I think we're what we're trying to do right now is set up a better explanation of what WealthGuard does, mm -hmm. which is protect your dollars. So even the dollars that are at risk. In other words, if we were to see a steep decline. Yeah. We're going to catch it. We're going to see that steep decline, and we're going to be on the telephone right away saying, and should I be, be concerned? Seeing, like your, your nest egg in the rearview mirror, you're never getting Excuse in me. that position, which is the safety first approach that Daryl's office You've got to have safety time. first. That's right. Um, but this is awesome. Oh, it's if, wonderful. If you feel like um, all, all of these changes, and you're looking at your retirement, you wonder, are you good? I think this one-on-one -on -one consultation could be perfect for you. If you're in that retirement red zone, so five to seven years um, out from retirement or even closer, mm -hmm. but it is limited to the first five callers because his office fills up so quickly this time of year as people start thinking about, am I ready? Um, and then you can also send your questions to us. We may use them on air because your concerns may be shared by somebody else watching. So email those two questions at omahasretirementstrategist.com. But again, five people can take advantage of that one-on-one um, -on -one consultation with Daryl and a member of his team. Uh, find out if you qualify. It's 402-932-2141. And I want to talk more about this wealth. Yeah, I got six words for you. Yeah. Wealth guard, wealth guard, wealth guard. Protect your stuff. I'm talking about your Roth, I, your 401, no, your 403. I'm in. Yeah. You got me. Yeah. It's a wonderful <laughs> I, thing. I wanna, it's a let's dive peace into of it mind. Week. You got it. Okay, Daryl, thank you so yep. much. And guests of the morning blend.